A doctor's testified about everything from the health and death of Skylar Richardson's baby. And there was discussion about whether the body was burned and a potentially false confession. Anjanette Levy has details on today's testimony. Dr. William Brady is a maternal fetal medicine specialist. Prosecutors asked him to review Skylar Richardson's medical records and the information he had about her pregnancy and offer an opinion about whether the baby was abnormally small, making the pregnancy high risk. Is there anything in these records or anything in the defendant's statement to indicate this was an intrauterine growth restricted baby? Not that I could glean from the records. Dr. Brady said there was nothing in Richardson's blood work to show she had low nutrition or that the baby was in trouble. And he said there's no way to tell whether the baby was stillborn. He said he watched the police interviews of Richardson. In the second, she said the baby was alive for five minutes. Doctor, in your experience, babies that cry and gurgle and move their limbs, are those dead babies? No. Are those signs of life? Yes. Not indicative of a stillbirth? Not indicative of a stillbirth. On cross-examination, Richardson's attorney questioned whether he had all of the information, and he brought up the defense claim that Richardson falsely confessed. Are you familiar with the Reed method? I'm sorry, the what method? Reed. It's an interrogation technique. Are you familiar with that? No. During that second interrogation, Richardson repeatedly said she didn't burn the baby. Burn her? I promise on anything I didn't burn her. But later, Richardson said she tried to cremate the baby. It's one of the reasons the baby's death was ruled a homicide. Based on that interview, you think that Skylar tried to light her baby on fire? Is that what you're telling us? Yes. When the baby's body was found, only bones were left, and forensic anthropologists agree there were no signs of burning to the bones. Whether the flesh had been burned is another question. There were skull fractures experts say were caused after death, but the cause of death could not be determined. Doctor, would you expect to see any evidence of trauma to the bones if a child was suffocated? No, you couldn't see evidence of suffocation in the bones. So far, we've only seen short clips of that second police interrogation. We expect to see the entire thing on Monday. In Lebanon, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News.